Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg of TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So this morning we're going to walk you through a, a really cool concept trailer. It's called a Dirty Tack Setup. So behind me is a 2021 Cimarron. It's a 24-foot gooseneck. More of a livestock trailer. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean when we call it, when we refer to it as a Dirty Tack Setup. But this is a really popular option in this kind of 24 foot size and then when we get into a 28 foot. Now we do carry this in a 20 footer as well, but we don't quite do the, the dirty tack setup on it, but it has some a lot of the same functionalities and a lot of the same options that I'm going to show you on this trailer here. So we try to keep, again, that 20, that 24 and that 28 on hand or on order at all times. Uh, again, just it, it's a great versatile trailer that maybe you want to use it to haul some pears haul some bulls, or you're gonna take the kids to a show. So it can kind of cross over between that show aspect and then also at home on the farm and ranch. So let's show you a couple different things here. And one of the very first things that I wanna show you is, is this nose on this trailer. This is a, a option we like to put on some of these trailers. It's Cimarron's V-Nose. Now a lot of manufacturers, their V-Nose comes to a very, very sharp point. What they do is they kind of follow the contour of, of these wings that come in here for the actual coupler itself. So, you know, you lose a lot of uh, uh, storage area up in the nose, but the Cimarron has a much larger and wider radius, but we still get the benefits of the V-nose when we're pulling this trailer. It's more aerodynamic and it will improve um, your fuel mileage compared to a, a standard tapered nose. Uh, usually on a Cimarron, it's an 18 degree tapered nose. For this, we're really, really consolidating everything down to this point here. But again, it's not as abrupt and, and sharp as you'll see on some other trailers. Now, a Cimarron nose is 8.2 long, which is a little bit longer than most other manufacturers. A lot of other manufacturers will be 7.6 to 7.8, somewhere in that ballpark. But Cimarron goes 8.2. So if we look at square footage of storage space in this nose right here compared to a standard Cimarron tapered nose, the standard is going to be about 54 square feet to where this one here is going to be 39. So we're losing about 15 feet. Um, so it's not, it's, it's not substantial, again, if it was a really abrupt point right here. Um, we've kind of done some rough testing. If we can get a couple of the identical trailers here at the same time with both noses, we'll do a little bit more testing on, on mileage. Um, but kind of the rough testing we've done up to this point is you'll see somewhere in that two to two and a half gallons you know, per mile better pulling this V nose compared to the, the standard tapered nose. So that does make a big difference. But again, it's not as, it's a wider nose to it uh, as far as the point itself. And these things do, they pull phenomenal well. I mean, it, they just kind of cut through. Now this is a lower profile trailer to begin with, uh, but that V-nose does make a big difference. And when I talk about the length of the nose, now we're not hooked up to a pickup today, but we did it on a video just the other day on a Ford long box, and we had the tailgate down, and I could still walk through. The tailgate was right about here, but I could still walk through here with the tailgate down on a long box. You can still function around them. A lot of other manufacturers, that tailgate will almost be right up against the spare tire. So we like the way that, that Cimarron builds these a little bit longer. I also think it helps the way they pull. These trailers pull exceptionally well. Um, compared to a lot of other manufacturers, I know when a Cimarron's behind me and when it's not. I mean, you can just, you can just feel everything on the road on those other trailers, kind of the bumps, the railroad tracks, potholes, they kind of jar you in the seat to where these guys kind of glide right along. But let's talk a little bit about this dirty tack setup. So normally on this trailer, the standard features, we're going to have this access door on the other side. So what our thought was is let's move our side ramp back. So again, if you're showing off of this trailer, load and unloading cattle, load and unloading equipment, with having the doors on both sides, but shifting this back, we have a traveling gate in here. And then we can use that traveling gate as almost a tack wall or partition wall. Now again, the dirty comes from the standpoint of it's not a sealed off wall. So you still have the potential of shavings and things like that getting into that area. But a lot of customers, I mean, that's okay. They're looking for a trailer that they can do two things with. So again, 
maybe hauling some cows and then going to the show. But what we've done is, is on this escape door, we put a fold up step, just trying to make it easily accessible. If you are accessing that as kind of your tack room, showing off of the trailer, it's easier stepping in and out. And then we have our side ramps. We have a 48 inch side ramp, folds down. It's really easy getting things in and out of here, whether it's cattle, other projects, or again, your equipment. <laughs> so right now in this, in this stall area here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right up front here, we actually have the center gate, but it's a traveling center gate. So I've got it stored up against the gooseneck drop wall right now. <laughs> so right now we have it completely opened up as far as the stall area goes. And then if I want to go ahead and use this as a, a quote, you know, dirty tack setup, these gates are really easy to use. You just unpin them from the wall. We actually, Cimarron runs their traveling gates off of this track, off the ceiling. And as long as you're kind of right in the middle and keep it balanced, they are really easy. I'm not even touching it. The trailer's kind of sloping back um, to the tail end and you can just see it just continue to roll. So now if I get to a point where I say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna use this as that dirty tack setup. I just pin everything in. I can open up this 48 inch swing, no threshold gate. And what I could do is I could bring my equipment up, put it right in this front stall area, shut the gate and then load my cattle. The other cool thing about these traveling gates is now we can manipulate stall sizes. So for example, if you're gonna haul maybe a cow calf pair, you got a bull, you got some steers, you got some heifers and you wanna kinda keep things separate, now we can use this gate and position it where we want to create those stall sizes and not have wasted space. You get into most standard stock trailers, you know, on a 24 footer, a lot of times you'll see uh, two center cut gates. That's kind of the most popular. So you have three eight foot sections. Uh, sometimes on a 20 footer, they'll, they'll do it, you know, split in half. So you have two tens to where in this, now I can shrink this down. You know, if I want a cow calf pair in this front section, you know, gives them adequate room, but I'm not now wasting an eight foot, 10 foot section just on those two or one bull or one steer or one heifer. Now we can kind of shrink it down and kind of fit, fit to them. And again, not waste that space. But this gate will also travel all the way back here as well. We actually ran this traveling track four foot off the back. So this track is 20 foot long. So if you did opt and say, hey, I'd like a second gate in that trailer, our track and our upright posts are already here for you. So it's a very simple process to add that second gate. But now this gate will roll back. When we get into the bigger upright posts, you'll see some notches cut in it with this heavy UHMW plastic that it locks into. And that's just because we have these bigger posts, you know, around wheel wells, around door frames. And then we go to our standard more square tube um, that you can actually set the gate on as well. So every foot in this whole area right here, we can set that gate wherever we want. So again, it just gives you so much flexibility. Again, you wanna add a second gate that can easily be done. Uh, we actually, on this one here, again, we did the 48 inch swing with no threshold. We have a slider option as well. We actually hinged, <laughs> we call it a reverse hinge. We put the hinges on the left-hand side and that's just for flow. That's, you know, a lot of times, 90% of the time showing things like that, we're gonna actually be loading, offloading from this side ramp. So it flows and functions so much better when we hinge over on this side rather than on the right-hand side when you're trying to work around that gate. Now you can just in and out of these stall areas. So a really good concept there. And the way this trailer flows, oh man, it is, it is really nice. Again, adding a second gate, we can really do a lot of different things. I'll show you up in that nose. Again, we kind of talked about that, that V nose option on this trailer. Again, there's a lot of square footage up here still. You know, I really don't feel like we've, we've lost a, a lot compared to a, a lot of other manufacturers. So we have this calf gate that folds down, but because of that depth, you know, we have a lot more storage availability. Then over here on the right-hand side, you'll see this tray 
and that's actually for our plexiglass. So we have two air gaps on this trailer and we have the plexiglass insert. So if I opt, I want to take the plexiglass out. You can actually store it up in that area. Now there's a couple things that in fact a customer asked me just the other day. They said, how do you keep track of all your plexiglass so it's not a puzzle when you go to put it back? And I told them the best thing that we've seen is take a roll of masking tape or painter's tape and a Sharpie, keep it in that brush tray. Because if you take out driver's side upper, put all those pieces together, just tape them together and write driver's side, you know, upper air gap, do the same for the lower, do the same for passenger, keep them separate because then when you go to put them in, it's not a big puzzle. You're not trying to go, well, this piece fits here and uh, this one overlaps. Now I got to swap this whole thing out. Nope, we know where these pieces go. And that's a great place to store them as well because we're not having loose pieces of, pl of plexiglass floating around on here. You go to throw a fan up there or something along those lines and going down the road, potential of breaking and then you're having to replace that plexiglass. So we always try to find homes for those items that especially can come off. Just like this traveling gate, there's a home for it up here. If I want one big stall area here, we can slide it up and lock it into place. But again, this gives you so much flexibility. Uh, again, it's a really popular concept out there. Again, if you're, if you're not wanting a, an actual sealed off tack room, I mean, you know, in this type of a concept, we do keep a 24 footer um, on order or on hand that actually has a five foot front tack but then it just, you're, you're limited to 19 foot stall area. That's all you got to where this, now we, can, we have 24 feet to work with. Again, we can do what we want with the gates. Um, let's talk a little bit about structure. So again, this is all aluminum trailer. On a Cimarron, you're standing on the industry's best floor. So it's an interlocking 12 inch deck, high and low. Um, it it kind of works together like a, like a big, Lego set. When it, when it starts getting put together, it really gains strength. The centers on this are every four inches apart. So wherever we have, you know, a heifer or even on our cows, anything like that, wherever they're standing, they're standing on a support beam. So when you spread those centers further apart, typically you see a not as well high quality built trailer as you would on these Cimarron's. So the industry's best floor, these upright posts are the strongest in the industry. Um, this is the same amount of aluminum that you'll see on these roof bows. Well, these roof bows here is what a lot of the other manufacturers will use. Same amount of aluminum, just more in a square form. So if you take a 20 foot stick of this, it'll wobble like a noodle in your hand. For if you take it off the side post with a 20 foot stick, it's like a pencil, it's one fluid motion. It's a lot stouter upright posts. So you might ask, well, why'd you put it on the roof then? Well, the reason why is because we have the insulated roof on top of it. It's standard on every single Cimarron. So it's a half inch thick, it's reinforced, R3 thermal value. It is stout, but more importantly, it'll keep this stall area about 20% cooler. Uh, if you ever see us at some shows, you know, we might have an easy up tent outside. On, we're usually parked on asphalt. You get in the summertime, it's really hot you'll actually see us sitting in the trailer in the, in the heat of the afternoon because it's a lot cooler in the trailer. So we already have the strength from the roof. I can walk on it, I can jump on it, it will not dent it, but it'll keep this a lot cooler for your cattle as well. And then we've got our two-way roof fence so we can manipulate some airflow through this trailer. LED lights, and then we've got a high and a low tie rail in here for you. So again, as you're traveling, want to get some stuff tied up, you can do that as well. As we come out of the side ramp here, also notice we've got high and low tie rails on the exterior. So if you're tying out on this trailer, if you're showing off this trailer, You've got some ties both sides of the trailer. We go ahead and do that on both sides for you on this option or on, on this model right here. Um, we've got a load light right above the ramp. We want light coverage up there. So it's a 16 inch awning light that shoots down and out. So you get a lot of coverage as you're loading or unloading. And we all know that, you know, there are those times where we get home late at night or leaving early in the morning and want a little bit of light coverage. LED button lights for marker lights. Uh, that was an option we put on this trailer since it's a 21. 
On the 22 models that are coming, that'll be a standard feature from Cimarron. But then you can see that plexiglass on the high and low as well. And then as we work down to the axles here, let's talk a little bit about those. So these are two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. This trailer weighs just under 5,500 pounds empty. So we have more than enough axle under this trailer. And we've actually gone and upgraded from the 10 ply tires to 14 plies. With this eight, eight wide trailer, um, you going down the road, you know, a lot of highway miles at a higher speed, more than likely we wanted to upgrade you and get you a little bit better tire underneath there. And then also these are balanced and nitrogen filled. So you have a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires. If you have a blowout, you can take some pictures of some codes, send it into Lion's Head. That's the vendor that Cimarron uses. Within a couple days, they'll send you a new tire. Even if you catch a nail and it can't be patched, they'll do that as well. But that nitrogen filled will really help PSI levels from fluctuating drastically like air will. There's a, there's a, we get asked a lot of times if I do have a slow leak or something, you know, I have a low tire, can I put air to it if it's nitrogen filled? And yes, you can. Um, we always recommend go figure out what's going on with it. Most tire shops can refill you with nitrogen, so make sure you request that. Bolt on fender. You know, we don't have as big a fender on this trailer with it being eight wide. Um, but if, if something would happen to where you tear up that fender, it's bolt on, it's not weld on, so it's not gonna cost you as much in labor to have it swapped out. Now, as we get to the back of this trailer here, we did a swing gate with a slider. We like to upgrade on these eight wide trailers, especially to a 36 inch wide opening. So normally this is about 32 inches, but we like to go and make it 36 because now for button trailers up, you know, in a parking lot somewhere, um, swapping cattle from trailer to trailer or loading or offloading, this wider uh, opening right here is very nice from the standpoint if you're, you know, again, hauling maybe some fat steers, a big bull, some bread heifers, we're not trying to squeeze them through there. Because it eight wide, we can do it and still keep the, the opening clear. So we like to do that. You have a big heavy duty cam latch on it. But this is a new feature right here and it's a good safety feature. It's a slam latch that Cimarron's come up with. So again, if we are loading, loading some pairs and we're trying to get them on the trailer, this is a great safety feature because now I can get it shut and then have the ability to get my cam latch over without you having to hold that and try to get the cam. So it's, a, it's, it's an added safety feature there that Cimarron's come up with. They've been working on a little R&D stuff. I know they're working on a new trim shop. So that's kind of taking a lot of their time, but they're always trying to be innovative, try to come up with new concepts and, and make them functional for us. Right above that is four light switches. So those four light switches are every light um, as far as area coverage is concerned, we have individual switches. So we have a load light on the left. So upper left is that. Upper right will be that, the one right above the ramp we saw. Lower left will be these two load lights right back here at the rear of the trailer. And then our bottom right will be our interior lights. So we can individually run lights on this trailer itself. Here's a good look at driver's side. Again, there's that upper and lower tie rail. The aluminum wheels are standard on Cimarron's. They started that a couple years ago. You know, it really dresses up the trailers compared to the old steel wheels. The old steel wheels over time, you know, that paint cracks and they kind of get that surface rust and they just kind of look ugly. You know, these aluminum wheels just kind of really dress the trailers up. And again, a standard feature. So again, this is a 24 foot, eight foot wide, Cimarron Lone Star. That's the model on this one. This one's actually a Lone Star. Again, we've gone in and, and added a lot of those options that we see on a lot of the Steerwalt models. Um, again, try to make a versatile trailer so it kind of crosses for you. So again, farm and ranch use, but then also take the kids to a show, anything like that. But I'll give you the stock number on this trailer. Again, it's a 2021 Cimarron Lone Star 24 footer. The stock number is 5N201268. So if you have any questions on it, you want to talk about maybe 
custom ordering something, maybe you want to talk about that 20 footer or that 28 footer that we've, we've got on order right now, give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.